We're talking about knowledge of the future in movies, YouTube channel, Easter Egg Psychic. In this video, I'll take a look at actor Noah Wiley. He's known for his role in the NBC television medical drama ER. He played this part between 1994 and 2009. Other cast included George Clooney, Eric LaSalle, Alex Kingston, and John Stamos. He played Flynn Carson in the Librarian movies and TV series. This fantasy adventure was produced by the TNT Cable TV Network in America. The Librarian Quest for the Spear started the series in 2004 with Kyle MacLachlan, Jane Curtin, and Olympia Dukakis. Noah Wiley played Apple Computer founder Steve Jobs in Pirates of the Silicon Valley, a 1999 made-for-television biographical film. This broadcast on the TNT Cable TV network and also included actors Anthony Michael Hall, Gellard Sartain, and Joey Slotnick. So I took a look at Noah Wiley. I thought he may resemble movie director Steven Spielberg and possibly another actor or maybe a group of actors from some movie or TV series. He may also resemble an actor who in turn resembles Spielberg. I think Mark Lynn Baker uh, may be a possible match. Links between Spielberg and Wiley. There are a couple. The premise for ER itself was created by science fiction author and director Michael Crichton. He, of course, collaborated with Steven Spielberg in several productions, most notably the 1993 movie adaptation of his 1990 novel Jurassic Park. Noah Wiley also played the lead in the TNT science fiction TV series Falling Skies. This ran between 2011 and 2015. Steven Spielberg was credited in a big way as being an executive producer on this series. Alternatively, I thought actress Jennifer Grey may also resemble Noah Wiley. Both Wiley and Grey were in a couple episodes of the TV series Who Do You Think You Are? A genealogical documentary series. Both in episodes in season 8 in 2017. My YouTube channel is Easter Egg Psychic. There I go back and look at movies and television from the past. I analyze these for possible references to future media. These may appear in the form of anecdotes, idioms, anagrams, hidden in the subtext of the work in question. I also use an unconventional method where I look at the likenesses of the actors. And what I found is you can take the likenesses match these up to some of the anecdotal items and show past, present, and future information about actors and other personalities or may resemble the personalities in the movie or television episode that you're watching. My email contact is eggguy. that's G-U-Y, at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.